What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to another edition of the Bad Podcast. Brad and Dwayne in the building. And we are live right now inside the Eager to Run group, inside the E2M personal training uh, private group. Also, we are streaming on YouTube. So if you're checking us out, any of those locations, let us know. And uh, in the comment section, we are super excited to do so. Brad, we're in here. We're live. <laughs> what are we talking about? What quote do you have? today my brother we here we live man i got a good one today i got a long one so so hey buckle up buckle down buckle when, up <laughs> when the road ahead seems too long look back to see how far you've come for even if the hill before you is steep the view gives you hope to finish the journey let's talk about the view let's talk about the journey all right man let's talk about it here we go hey good job guys good job mental battles mental battles what it look like what it be like what it do back in here another this other bad podcast brad and wayne and before we get started man always got to shout out those that are watching those that are listening we appreciate the love we appreciate y'all so much for commenting and giving us support and uh, speaking of support, that kind of leads into our guest today, man. So, Brad, Brad like I always do, I'm going to pass it to you, my brother. Yeah, supports the the, the word of the day, I guess. And, and this is my friend Vicky. I call her Pants because the first time that I, I think I met her in person, she had the coolest pants on. And uh, she, she probably exactly. hardly even remembers that. But, Vicky, I want you to take away. I want you to introduce yourself, and I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. And maybe even talk about the pants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Uncle Brad and <laughs> Cousin Dwayne. Um, my name is Vicki Amos. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, really outside of Atlanta, just outside of Atlanta, but I'm in the Atlanta area. Um, born and raised in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm a Midwesterner by birth, if you will. And um, uh, this is my ninth round in E2M. I'm not a stranger to fitness and working out. Um, very new to running, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of me in a nutshell. Go Colts, <laughs> go Colts. Uh, <laughs> right. um, you know, you, you say you're no stranger <laughs> to, to working out. Right. Um, and I think a lot of the people that are in E2M aren't strangers to working out, but when you're on the journey of fitness and health and wellness and all these things, it's sort of, it's sort of easy to kind of get steered in the wrong direction because, the market is so saturated. The internet is so saturated, full of junk. Eat Skittles before your workout, and they eat Starburst, <laughs> Starburst after your workouts, right? The way that I've had that conversation, and you know, it's so saturated. So I, I sort of want to talk about your fitness journey, how you found us, um, how you got started, and um, you know, I, let's let's start there. How you got, how you found us, how you got started. It's a little bit of delay, but yeah. she's gonna catch up. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I knew nothing about E2M. Absolutely nothing. It was my sister, Lisa Amos, uh, my cool. number one AP, who uh, independently we were both um, seeking a way to 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 be more fit, be more well. My story is I had a new doctor had a new primary care physician and she, you know, was like, I want to get to know you. I want to run some tests. I have your medical history, but I need to do stuff for myself. So she ran a bunch of tests and I wasn't expecting anything. You know, I knew that I knew to, needed to lose weight. Uh, but when she came back after the follow-up visit, it was very serious. She was like, Hmm. She said, I, mm, you've got some, some stuff going on and I'm not liking what I see. And uh, it was the lab results that she broke down for me. She said, I want you to look at your lab results. And while you're looking at the, the values, they're fall within the normal range. She said, but that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the trends. And so, you know, she explained you can't independently take a lab value. And because it's normal, you're good. She said, I look at these things together. And 
you know, she just went and explained. She said, you're headed really in the wrong direction. She talked about cholesterol, um, the, all the all the, the market, the bad things. And she said, you're headed there really, really, really quickly. And if you don't do something, um, you know, we're going to have a different conversation. So she gave me six months to get my act together. Otherwise, she's talking some drastic stuff that need to happen. And she said, well, the first thing you need to do is lose weight, which I already knew. But I was like, OK. And I had never had a doctor talk to me like that before. So I was very frightened. I was scared. And so I'm like, OK, what am I going to do? So because I wasn't a stranger to working out and doing things, I said, well, I'll just go and do what I know to do. But when I was doing those things, it wasn't working. And I was like, man, you know, I got to do something. So she gave me six months. I am what I call the NG class of in October of 2022. And just chance, my sister, we're talking and she said, have you, have you seen this thing called E2M? And I was like, no. I said, well, no, I don't think so. She had seen a, a post from a, a friend of ours, church friend of ours. And she said, yeah, she posted. And you know, Tiffany posted this post and I think I'm interested. I was like, okay, tell me more. And so she was doing the research behind the scenes and she would tell me like, oh, this, this is legit. So when I saw it, I said, you know what? I have seen this out on social media, but it never, I never knew anything about it. And so when she said, well, I'm signing up for it. And I was like, well, you're not signing up without me. You know, where, where do I need to go? <laughs> so we both signed up, went in blind, doing nothing, knowing nobody. So much so that when I joined, it was Halloween. 2022 and I have a picture of me sitting on my porch waiting for trick-or-treaters um dressed as a unicorn by the way <laughs> there's the back door to the to the, the the mf and unicorn but um yeah that that's how I found e2m like went in blind knew nothing I, it was so much so that I, I didn't even know there were classes like the circuits I just downloaded, printed out the workouts and did them on my own, not knowing that you could log on to work out with the coaches. That's, that's pretty yeah. neat. Um, and, first, first, yeah. um, you know, cut me off if I'm talking to you. No, much, no, no, I, I no. I have a tendency no. to do that. This is, this is your show. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I lost my thoughts. Come back. Um, but yeah, it was so much so that, you know, doing the workouts. Um, and because the doc doctor, this is October. And in October, I was due to see her that year in December for this, like I'm done within six months. This is October, the end of October. Um, I was like, this has to work. There was never consideration of it not working. I didn't have any doubts. I felt like it was an answer to a prayer. Seeing all the results that everybody had, I envisioned, oh, this is what's possible for me. This is exactly what I need. I'm all in. Just tell me what I need to do. And here I am. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, shout out Lisa. All right. Shout out Lisa. Cause Lisa discovered uh, this, this, what we call diamond at the rough, especially, yeah. <laughs> you know, especially in 2022 and, and even before that <laughs> diamond in the rough, you know, and, and we're starting to grow exponentially as everybody knows. But, um, you know, one of the things that, that caught my ear there was um, your, your physician essentially scaring you into taking action and, Unfortunately, too many people wait until that that wake up call, that 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 emergency phone call. Like we get that phone call, it's like, hey, listen, if you don't take action today, if you don't take action tomorrow, your 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 window is running out, your window is starting to close down. And like when you were telling me that, I was getting goosebumps on this side of the screen because Dwayne's seeing it firsthand. I've seen it firsthand. You're you're living proof, you know, that people wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until they they take action. So um, I'm glad your doctor, you know, lit that fire. I'm glad Lisa found us, you know, and I'm glad you're here. You said you didn't know anybody when you started. Do you know anybody today? It's <laughs> a few people. <laughs> I know hundreds, if not thousands. Yes. I love it. I love it. Love the community. Yeah. <clears throat> 
And, and, you know, the community is one of the strongest pieces of E2M because, you know, when you, when you sign up for something like P90X, shout out P90X. I did it when I was in my twenties. It was extremely hard, but there wasn't a community, um, with the support, you know, there they wasn't tried, a- though. They, they did try. <laughs> Cause I remember, uh, you know, not, not to get them anything, but I remember when I signed up, um, I tweeted about it. And so they had like this little, Oh, this really? little community thing on their website, on the Beachbody website, where you could like kind of, you know, back in the day, they had the yeah. little chats like, yeah, so hey. they did try. So hey. I, I'm not hey. knocking that. Nothing like <laughs> ours, but I just want to put it out there. But yeah. They did try. Well, you know, and, and the thing is, though, is maybe they did try to, to, to build that community. But how many times do you get to hook up with Tony Horton? Ain't nobody knows Tony, but everybody hey. knows Jeff. Everybody knows the the other clients. You know, we have these media <laughs> meetups all over the country. That's well, true. just just so happens to be we're going to be down in your hometown, Atlanta. Um, and and uh, you know, you play a vital role in bringing our event together, right? And I want you to talk a little bit about the MF and unicorns. Uh, tell us a story about the MF. <laughs> yeah, and give unicorns. us the backstory. Yeah, we want to know everything. <laughs> 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 all right um but before i go there can i make a comment about the community real quick absolutely yes you can um i want to give a shout out to a community member in my second week in my first round like i said i knew nothing i was basically blind fumbling my way through um i had reached out you know, because when, you, when you're looking at all the posts and people look wonderful and their results and you're inspired by all of them. But I saw one post this in my second week of my first round. It was posted by Susie Daly Forrester. Something about her post spoke directly to me and I was compelled to read. I sent her a private message on Messenger and I, I just told her my story, saw her post, told her that she was inspiring to me. And we kept in touch behind the scenes, whatever. And she shared some stuff and she would help me, you know, when I ask her questions and I, I would have never done that. Like who does that? Some complete stranger come to find out she had, she was going into her, she had been in it almost a year, I think at the time. Um, we went to the Columbia meetup. I met her in person. You, you couldn't, it's like, it's like, we won't scare. And I, I felt like I had known her most of my life. You can't make that stuff up. So I think that was a divine appointment. Me meeting Susie Forrester through E2M. Um, uh, Shout out Susie. She's my muse. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Um, but going back to um, the MF and unicorn. So the, the backstory, I was at a point in my life in 2022 or leading up to that time, dealing with some conflict dealing with um, a situation where I felt like I wasn't enough or really maybe I was too much. Um, and so to, to empower myself that year for work, we, we have a costume contest. And so um, me dealing with my feelings about that, even questioning, you know, you're broken when you question um, who you are who you really are when you, when you have to question that dealing a, when you're in conflict with, with another person, you know, you know, you're broken then, but my way of dealing with that, I was like, this is who I am. You can't tell me who I am, what I can do, how I can do it. You're not allowed to do that. Another person's not allowed to do that. Um, and if you don't like how I do things, you know, I'm going to be rare. I am unique. I am rare. I'm powerful. I, I've got magic in me because I believe what I do. You know, I, I, I'm i um, very proud of stuff that I'm able to do. You know, it's like it's, like, it's my brand. That's Vicky. That's who I am. Um, so out of that, that Halloween for the costume contest, I dressed up as a unicorn. And I was like, but I'm not just going to be a unicorn. Because people, when you say unicorn, people in their minds come at what it looks like. You know, there's the rainbow, there's the this, there's that. You in your mind think of it. I said, well, I'm going to flip it and I'm going to be a unicorn. I was um, leather. I had on leather. I had on a, a, a rainbow skirt, but it wasn't really rainbow. It wasn't a rainbow like you think. 
Um, I had mm. on boots, high heel, black. But I was a. I said I'm going to be a unicorn, <laughs> you know. And what you don't know is that I'm empowered. I'm not just a unicorn. I'm an MF and unicorn, <laughs> and it's magical, fun loving for those who are easily offended. But that was the empowering thing for me. It was a rally yeah. cry. So, so um. um Uh oh, <laughs> cut out there for a second. So that's where that in initiated fast forward hot chocolate race. There was a, a group of people. Uh oh, are you guys there? Yeah, we, we're getting real choppy signal at, at the moment. Uh, I don't know if it's the Wi Fi on your side or whatever, but uh, we, we heard hot chocolate race <laughs> and we fast forwarded to there. Me? So just. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> it was the hot chocolate in Atlanta. Uh, okay. Cool. I don't know if we're catching up or we're behind or in front. We're right where we need to be. Hey, if you, <laughs> if you have, if you can go on data, that might be an option. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do that. I don't know if you're on your computer or a phone. Um. But, you know, just to, just to talk about what you're talking about, Vicki, while you're catching up a little bit, um, you know, we all have those pivotal moments, don't we, Dwayne? Like, we all have those pivotal moments where we need to sort of redefine the path, you know, and, and find ourselves, you know, because I, I just talked about this recently. You know, when you're, when you're trying to, when you're six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old and you tell your teacher, your coach, I want to be an astronaut. The first thing they said, nah, no, nah, that's for the cream of the crop, or that's that's for somebody that's a little bit more uh, uh, able or capable, rather. And we start to believe that, and then mm -hmm. over time, you know, we're just calloused to t to have other people tell us and direct us on the path of life. And then, you know, we, we, when we reach our thirties, our forties, our fifties, we're like, why have I allowed somebody else to steer my ship this entire time? Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, and that's where Vicky was and, and, and Vicky found herself and, you know, tried to, you know, now she's empowering. She's a strong woman. And, you know, Hey, I, I think you're back, Vicky, take it, take it away from the hot chocolate race, baby. <laughs> um, there was a group of E2Mers, E2R that we were like, let's, let's meet up, run the race together, whatever. Um, I think that morning there was some traffic issues um, and the meetup of the, of the number of people kind of didn't happen. And so, but there was so much excitement coming off of that in this chat group. Um, I was like, well, Hey, let's, let's, let's continue this excitement and let's do another race because with um, our local accountability group or the one that my local accountability group, the group of friends of ours, um, we would always say, we need to get together and do X, Y, Z. Why don't we sign up and do a 5K? Why don't we go take this yoga class? We would always talk about these ideas, but it would never happen. You know, you have an idea and you say, yeah, we should do that, but it would never happen. So taking the excitement from the hot chocolate Atlanta, it was like, well, let's do, there's a race coming up. And for people who are intimidated by races that are like timed and you got to qualify, Let's do something fun. And it was a fun 5K called the Galentine's Day 5K. I was like, let's sign up for that and let's 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 go for it. Um, so when I registered, so I figured that would be easy to get everybody, instead of sending the, the race website for people to sign up, it's like, let's do a link. I'll send it to everybody. And everybody signs up under the team. So then it was like, well, what's the team name? I'm like, I don't know, like, who are you going to be? So going back to the beginning of my E2M journey, I said, that's what we're going to be, the MF and unicorns. That's what we're going to be. And so people like gravitated toward that. They were like, oh, cool. Um, I said, okay. So from there, uh, we started off with a bunch of people, but it went from 10 to eight to five. That morning, there was a total of five of us during that doing that race and we had on oh wait for it we had on um yeah headbands right and so <laughs> uh 
And we're dressed colorful. It was very cold that morning, but the, the five that, that came out, we ran the race. Some of us ran, some of us walked. Um, but even though it was only five of us, you would have thought it was hundreds of us because the response that we got from the participants and the race organizer was overwhelming because, you know, at the end of, you know, when you have your race bib and it, it has the information. So at the, at the, at the finish line, there's somebody with the iPad talking about, oh, here comes Brad running across the finish line. Yay. Here comes the way. So when I crossed, it was like, oh, oh, here comes a unicorn. Yay, Vicky. And then my other friend, she finished. You hear, you're hearing, and you're hearing this in the park. Here comes another one of those unicorns. And so everybody's like, what's with the unicorn thing? And so it became a thing. And so everybody wanted our picture. Um, it was a race that benefited girls on the run. So there were little girls there and they, can we get a picture with you? And I was like, wow, I think we, I think we might've started something. And so we came up with a hashtag. We had fun with it. Um, you know, we don't run, we fly. It's like next time the unicorns are flying, you know, so it, it, it came from there. Wow. That's fire. <laughs> fire. And I'm like sure you're like blue fire. With... <laughs> um, so going to the Atlanta meetup, Brent, he's an awesome team member with E2R. Um, yeah. uh, director of development. He's awesome. Love him, love him, love him. I've adopted him as my little brother, but um, you know, he sent out a message, say, hey, Atlanta, we're coming to Atlanta. Anybody know any sponsors, vendors? You know, we're looking for, you know, anybody have any recommendations? So, you know, sending, responding to his messages. And so me and my sister, going back to my sister, Lisa, you know, we were talking and thinking about ways we could support the Atlanta meetup because I was there in December in the rain and it was fun and all the, all the stuff that, that happened in December. And it's like, okay, well, they're coming back. And I, I, I told Brent, I feel like you guys are coming to my house. So what can I do? What do I have available to me to make this ex what it should be starting off 2024? If you're coming to Atlanta first, I want Atlanta to be awesome. So what can I do? So me and my sister independently were thinking of ways. So I'm one of the ones that said, you know how people say, well, I would pay for E2M again. The best $320 I spent. So my logic was, well, if I can take the $320 and pay for the event again, but I can't do that, what can I take that $320, $640 or whatever? What can I do with that? Maybe I can be, you know, um, contribute to this effort in Atlanta. So that was my thought process. Talk to my sister, say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Um, I know at the meetup in Atlanta, Jeff, when I introduced Sharice Challenger as the, the sponsor for that, that um, in December, Jeff mentioned, hey, anybody can be a sponsor. You can be a sponsor. I was like, well, hey. So I said, Brent, what does it take to be a sponsor? Just, can it be anybody? He was like, well, yeah. You know, he you know, explained everything to me. And I said, well, um, we want to be a sponsor. Me and my sister, we put our nickels together and... We don't want to be like, we don't want it to be it under our name. Let's do it. Can we do it under a accountability group? He said, well, sure, absolutely. And the idea was, well, let's get some other local people. I put a challenge out in our Atlanta, E2M Atlanta group. I said, hey, the MF and Unicorns are challenging any other accountability group to be hometown sponsors. You know, anybody willing to take us up on our challenge? Again, I was the one that said, hey, I'll pay the 320 again and again and again and again. And after nine rounds, well, how much does that add up to if I if I believe that, you know, you guys do good things with 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 the money? It goes to good causes. And so um, put the challenge out there and it caught the attention of a person that I didn't realize was even in the group, quite frankly. It's like, hey, this is exciting. Um I don't want to challenge you and put money up myself. Can I give you the money for the MF and unicorns and you guys use it? <laughs> sure. You know? And so he gave us a, a nice donation and, and now we're gold sponsors under the name of MF and unicorn. So here we are. 
Mm -hmm. Somebody put it in the comments to Wayne, uh, you are a true unicorn and, 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 you know, you really are. And, uh, you know, I can't, I can't go without saying that we greatly appreciate you and people like you, you are those, those beacons, those lanterns that so many look to follow in life and in fitness. And, you know, you're setting the tone, you're setting the example, the standard, um, for, for so many little people to follow. You talk about the girls on the run, you know, the girls on the run is a program to empower young women. You are that unicorn. You are that, you are that magical person that, that so many um, look to follow. So I plan on seeing the unicorns at the boot cart farms on May 11th. I plan on seeing you guys all across the finish line. I, I plan on seeing some, uh, some magic um, in, at the boot cart farms on, uh, on May 11th while we're in Atlanta. And Ma Atlanta is a special place for me because um, uh, Dwayne knows this, but, uh, it was my wife's last official meetup, um, right before we had our, our little one. So, um, you know, it's a special place for me. I like to call it home and, uh, you know, it's, it's been nothing but Aww. nothing but great for me. So I'm excited. Yep. Yep. Atlanta's special for me. Cause that's actually my oh, very I first, uh, yeah. my very first meetup as an employee, uh, which was my first and Adrian's last, uh, you know, that's how it worked out. We kind of, it was a change of the guards, uh, because at the time <laughs> she was over events and I stepped in and kind of filled the shoes a little bit on the on-site side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Atlanta is definitely special for me, man. So first, uh, like, like Brad said, we're, we're super grateful for you and your crew, uh, for uh, contributing to, uh, becoming the gold member. Uh, that, that means a lot to us. Uh, like you said, a lot of people talk about, you know, paying for it over and over again. But, uh, you know, it's few people that that put put wheels on those words and make stuff happen. So mm -hmm. I want to definitely thank you for that. You get a lot of love in the comment section. So make sure you go back and read through the comments. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of love, a lot of a lot of you, you, unicorn shout outs and all kind of <laughs> things going on in the comment section. Unicorn emojis and everything. Everybody's going <laughs> in. Um, so before we slide out. Um, uh, we want to get into a section or a segment of our podcast that we do with all of our guests. This is the Do You Know or Did You Know moment about our guests. I'm going to play a short video. Uh, you get time to think about what you <laughs> want to share with the audience as far as something that you might have not have said publicly or something people might not know about you. But I'm going to play the video and uh, give it to us as soon as it's over. Here we go. All right, the video is over. Hope you had a chance. <laughs> hey, to... caught you off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you had a chance to uh, figure out what the do you know or did you know moment. So um, you have the floor. What what what's the do you know or did you know moment about you? <laughs> ah, I think well, people who know me, there's 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 not a lot to to that people don't know. One thing, one thing I can say, I'm the crazy clock lady. You've heard of the crazy cat lady. There's clocks. I have a mm. a, a, a fascination with clocks. Um, mm. Like as a design piece, I love like unique wall clocks. And I have a clock in just about every room in my house. If mm. I see a clock, I'm out shopping and I see it, I was like, oh, clock. And I had someone ask me once, what is this thing with clocks? You know, mm. I was like, I don't know. They're just, it's just, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm fascinated by clocks, whether, whether it's Roman numerals or whether it has the 24 hour, whether it has the second hand or, or not, or, you know, it just, I'm just intrigued by, and the more unique they are, the better. I like big ones, um, different kind. I don't like, it's not the digital, it's not a cuckoo clock, but it is a clock. And so it's like, I know what it is. It's just so you can know what time it is. So I know what time it is. I have clocks <laughs> just about every room in wow. my house. And if I had room, I would have a lot more. So I'm the crazy clock. Someone, someone says, I love the one on your wall in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the comments Wait, section. Who said that? You, <laughs> well, so I can't see the name because oh, it didn't get it in my house. Yes. permission. Yeah, I know. It has to be somebody who been at your house, but I just thought that was hilarious. It was like, I love let's hope so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, there's a clock in the in the post in where I work out in my basement. There is, okay. it looks like a dartboard. Oh. Ah. But that's actually a clock. It broke. Nice. And I can't figure out how to fix it, but I love gotcha. it. 
because it goes with my theme down there. But that dark board you see in a lot of my posts, that's actually a clock. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I, I just I had to read it. That was hilarious. Well, listen, first, uh, again, we, we appreciate you. Um, as far as the, uh, you know, the 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 MF and unicorns, are there other things you guys are going to be, you know, doing? Well, I mean, we'd love to support. We, I mean, we take all the support. Uh, but is, is this like a beginning of something new, uh, you know, you guys are going to embark on? Because I want to give, first of all, exposure to the group you know, uh, because you, you're doing us a huge favor. So we want to return the favor and give the group exposure and then any other projects or anything you are thinking about or things on the way. Wow. Um, I, yes, it is a, a, a new thing. Like I said, it just, it, it was birthed in February, 2024. So, and it was just an idea, but because from then to now, and what's happening with this, I'm here for it. The people, the, the unicorns that are out there, that have been recruited and 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 has um, you know, see the idea. I say, let's I'm here for it. Let's take it to the next level. Let what is it gonna be? Let's LFF. That's our one of our hashtags. LFF, we are magic. Um, be empowered. And and um there is a quote about unicorns. You may be familiar with it, but it says, be yourself unless you can be a unicorn. But I put a twist and, then, and it goes on to say something else, but I put a twist on it. It says, be yourself unless you can be a, a unicorn. And if you're going to be a unicorn, then be a MF and unicorn. That's <laughs> um, the quote that we've adopted. Like, you know, be, empowered. be yourself, you know, <laughs> I love be who it. you are. I, love it. I mean, it, 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 it is in line with everything about E2M. It's like, believe in yourself. You are magic. You have magic in you. You just have to believe it. Tap into that. You can do Good hard deal. things, all of it. It's yeah, I love it. Good stuff. So, yeah, all right. I'll, so, you know, we, we're gonna you up for it wherever it leads. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Yes, so I'm B, uh, it. real quick before we slide out, man, can you kind of talk about a little bit uh, what the gold standard means as far as uh, sponsorship? So, somebody might be watching, like, hey, man, I, I want in, I, I want to support. Can you talk about just kind of that, that portion just a little bit before we get ready to close? Yeah. Up? Absolutely. So we have different levels, different tiers of, of sponsorship packages and what the gold standard uh, provides is, is a lot of opportunity for exposure, right? So your, your logo is on the back of the t-shirt, you're on signs, you're at the finish line, um, we'll get the shout outs on the podcast, boy, shout outs on social media. There's a lot of exposure and we do have lower level sponsorships. We have higher level sponsorships and each level just provides a different level of exposure for your business or your organization. So, um, you know, if you, if, you know, if you want to do a hometown sponsorship, you know, there is a package for that. If you want to go big, you want to sponsor like the entire year, we got a package for that. Um, and, and it's just a level of exposure, whatever you desire from a business standpoint or an organization standpoint, that's, that's something uh, that you can find on our website, eager to run.com. There's a section for sponsors. You can go in, uh, navigate and, and, and just see what works best for you. And, and we're not set in stone, Dwayne and Vicki, we're not set in stone as to what our packages are. So if you don't see anything that aligns with your exposure level of what you desire, we'll make something for you. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good deal. All right, y'all. We appreciate you tuning in to another edition of the Bad Podcast, man. We're super excited to work with anybody and everybody. So holla at us. And uh, till next time, man, y'all have a good one. And we are out of here.